Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to Backrooms Found Footage 3 by Kane Pixels. This video originally was meant to air a few days ago, but Kane said he had to take it down due to legal reasons. And the legal reasons most likely were A24 Productions. They decided to pick up the Backrooms or, or Kane Pixels Backrooms series as a movie with Kane as the director. And I'm assuming there was some kind of clash and they, they wanted to make sure there was no kind of similarities of story or whatever. And I believe that was one of the reasons why this kind of halted after a while if you remember there was literally no backroom stuff from Kane for the longest time and he moved on to the long uh, the oldest view and I believe this was because he wanted to work on the story of the movie of the backrooms but he's found a way obviously here to make it different to what the movie is going to be so if you guys are excited be sure to leave a like rating down below if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and also don't forget to subscribe to the creator Kane Pixels phenomenal creator really good absolutely he's a prodigy of just editing VFX of just filmmaking in general to be fair so without further ado guys let's just jump straight into this oh my god that's loud. Spider. Okay, so... Are there subtitles? There's no subtitles. My goodness. So this is obviously uh, the early 90s right here. Back to the hotel that night and was listening to the footage. Okay. I realized I recorded a Monsanto exec joking with a DPR manager about this sick kid referring to it as the bug-eyed one. The bug-eyed one? And sure, I like making fun of diseased kids as much of the next guy, but right after that, one of them basically in okay. the default, which, mind you, they aren't doing publicly at all. Okay, well, they there should be a flash warning on this. My God, it's like, you know, when you're driving and there's like trees are just like going between the sun's rays and it's like, it turns into like a, a strobe light. It's something along the lines of, well, hey, if we accidentally push out the entire county, you might just get that ranch you always wanted. Okay, I don't know what's going on, what they're Fucking talking about man. here. Okay. Sorry, I think I'm going to have to call. This is uh, Robbie, I'm a tenant in the upstairs of Fairmont. What? Hang on. Yeah. What's... Yeah, that's me. I'm just calling to ask to see if there's anybody supposed to be checking out the downstairs today. Oh, okay. There's, there's something going on downstairs in what? In his apartment? I'm guessing he's renting it. Okay, so, no, like, maintenance or anything? Okay, so he's obviously been hearing banging in the basement, but surely they'd need to come through. Is there, like, another access point to the basement there? Or is this the... I'm guessing there probably is, right? Hey! Oh, wow. Right. Someone there? Is someone there? How tall is he? He looks really tall. Maybe it's just the FOV. This dude's like seven foot. Oh, fuck me. Oh, so there is another entrance in. Oh, it's been smashed. Someone broke in. Hang on a sec. Is the give me a sec. Oh, there isn't any glass on the floor, or is there? Wait, the glass is on the outside. Oh, is that right? Hang on, I didn't really see. Hey. This guy is super tall. Oh my Someone god! Here? This guy's like literally like six foot nine. Unless it's just the camera. I don't know. Um, it really depends on if the glass was 
shattered from the inside or outside. Because if it was shattered from the inside, that means someone's already in trying to get out. Hey. Okay, my guess is, guys, that someone escaped the back rooms through this guy's house and smashed their way out. <clears throat> I need to adjust my camera. There we go. Oh, that's an ominous chair in the corner there. Someone there? Okay. Are you going to go grab a flashlight or something? Hey, Jesus, Arnold Schwarzenegger just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I, I. Oh, wow. Okay. You have to curl. You have to do the biceps. You have to feel the pump. Is that the garage? The garage. That's a big storage place right there. Huge. Okay, oh, is this all normal? Where is he? Oh, damn. Okay, something's broke. There's bricks. There's no, like, bricks surrounding it, though. Or is there? Unless that was just the way it was formed. There we go. So, this is literally... He didn't clip into the back rooms. It just connected to the back rooms. That's how bad this experiment... Had what the hell just happened? Oh, never mind. He, he straight up clipped in. Okay. But it looks like it's a lot more volatile because it started with people just like clipping through with little spaces. And now it seems like big chunks of things are like more noticeable. Did he slide through there? That must have hurt. Here we go, baby. We are so back. We are so back. Is he climbing back up? Oh, Holy crap. God. I did not know this was here. Well, I mean, it's a lot of space. Here's the thing though, is this just randomly generated in? Is this like a classroom that was just generated in here? Or is this, was this put here? by someone. Ooh. I love the thing about, like, the subtle things about Kane's work are just how realistic everything is, like, with how light reacts to the camera and, like, see how it's, like, blurring and stuff? It's, like, really subtle, but it just, like, it blends reality so well. 
So a whole ass office building obviously got clipped through here. I don't understand. How is this even here? I don't know, man, but that chair's a bit, like, low to the ground. That's for someone with really short legs and a really tall back. That's like a, yeah, really long torso and very short legs. Go on, kick the chair. Go on, do it. Ah. That's your average factory in China there, guys. Sorry, that wasn't uncalled for. I'm saying that, you know, they're... Never mind. I'm saying that they're walled in, okay, and they're, they're forced to work. <laughs> Was ist das? Was ist das? Oh, das ist nicht gut. Right now. How about we, uh, you just do a little presentation for the brick wall there. Hmm. I think this is the longest, um, entry for the back rooms for Kane Pixel series to date. So that's interesting. So that's pretty neat. locked in. Go on, kick it down. Actually, I guess you wouldn't, would you? You'd think that you're in someone's property. That's what anyone re logically would be thinking. You wouldn't be thinking, oh, this is just randomly generated stuff from the world inside in, like an infinite room. Okay, so he needs to find a way out. This is one thing that I'll, I'll say to, um, like, people who want to do this kind of content, like the found footage, like, this kind of content. The sound design is usually what lets most people down. But if you listen, like, to like, especially the, the room buzz and the ambience of the room, some, some creators don't know how to kind of pull that off. And it is hard. But you notice it's like, there's a slight kind of hiss in the air, like a buzz of the room. The that just kind of makes this feel all more real. I need, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Completely like, there's the casting couch. This is so Stop weird. it. I'm not gonna talk like technical crap. I'm not gonna, yeah, pull you out of immersion. So I'll stop doing that now. Okay. It's an AA meeting going on in there. Or BA, Backrooms Anonymous. What kind of place is this? I don't know, man. I looks like some cu cultish behavior. Oh, wow. Skylight. See where this can be above ground. Uh, 
man. It's just so good. It's so good. A nice soundscape as well. Is he going to try and jump from that balcony to there? It's like an observation deck. Oh, there's a thing up there. Nice. Unless he just pushes... Oh, it's an entrance. Wow, okay. We are on to something. I don't think this one had a date on it, not even in the description. Previous episodes had like a date on them. Oh, the way the freaking music's kind of like, it's almost like you're coming to a realization that something's wrong. Oh god, I remember those things, man. I had one of those things as a kid. I don't think mine was that big, though. I don't even though is that big? It probably was the same, yeah. Nice. Okay, we got some kind of freaking couch shop. Furniture store. So random. That's what it's meant to be, though, I guess. Oh, good. Oh, that's just took a wild turn. How no. Oh, God. I just know, like, I think I've said this before, but it's like when you... When I you found, like, an abandoned factory or something, or, like, a building, and there's just that really quiet... Oh, God, they were keeping something out. It's like Dead Gee. Rising. But it's just that, like, there's... N you can't hear anything, but you feel like something's going to happen. <clears throat> it's such a strange, liminal feeling. What's that saying now? Bit of music? Lighten up the mood? Why not? That person's in timeout? They did something wrong? It's the Blair Witch Project. sure I was recording properly. Okay, so slowly getting more and more kind of dilapidated over time. What is this? It's like there's a some kind of ritual going on. What? What did you see? Oh man, that would actually make my bowels drop out of my anus. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'd be quivering in that corner. Oh, he's he's got the right idea. In a horror movie, that guy'd be like, "Huh? What's that sound?" Hang on, did he hear something? Oh, there was footsteps following him. Oh, that's so creepy. And the light's gone out. Oh, hell no. I'm trying to leave. I, I don't want any trouble. Imagine, right? 
like back rooms, but it's a serial killer. And the serial killer kind of knows how to clip in and out, or he has, a, he has a destination where he knows where to clip in and he knows where to clip out. And he takes people, puts them in the back rooms, right? Allows them to wake up and then he hunts them in the back rooms. I know that's a sick, twisted idea right there, but that could be terrifying. Hello? So is there someone... Hello? Ooh. Hey! Oh, hell no, that thing is strong, man. Oh, I'd be panicking so hard. The anxiety would be going. What is this now? It's a crazy ass, like, bookshelf. And that's a lot of water. Oh, I love the soundscape in this. It's so good. Woo, okay, here we go. Where are we? What's the, what's the, Night City? Cyberpunk. Hang on, what's that? What the fuck? No. Wow, look at this though. That's a whole ass city. Uh. And some people just have it all when it comes to talent, guys. This is this is incredible. If you're wondering why you're not talented, guys, like I often do, it's because people like this steal it all. Blame them. I'm joking, obviously. Kane works bloody hard. And he's just naturally gifted, I guess, um, picking things up. Because I think he's 19 years old. Oh, well, here we go. What is this then? This is like a playground. Mate, get out of there. You're gonna have to jump down. Oh, we turned the light off so he didn't... Okay. That sounded like it was trying to be human. Oh, they turned the lights on. Make a dash for it, man. just so this would just throw you out so hard wouldn't it like where where does this thing end you'd be so disorientated just a singular chair oh, what have they done to the carpet man that's not good you know I love the fact that this guy's still filming obviously um you probably would still film, but I wouldn't have like the the foresight to be like filming thing. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. Like I wouldn't be filming everything around me. If I hear the sound, the camera would go straight down to the ground, but that wouldn't really make a good uh, viewing experience, to be honest. Because I'd be so concerned about my own safety that I wouldn't care about what I'm filming at that point. But maybe I'm stupid for that. Oh, listen to how creaky this is. This is old, man. Oh. Is that... Is that... Oh, okay. It's like a showroom, almost. Oh, my God. These reveals, man. Have to stop my camera soon, guys, and restart. 
Uh, oh my god. That was a tiny chair. Look at that chair. My god. Okay, these are... What is that sound? Is that actually coming from the room or is that just the ambience? What's it called? The mise-en scene or mise-en... I forgot what it's called. Oh, is it... I think that's coming from some speakers. Reminds me of like when you go to an aquarium and you see like turtles or whatever and you can go into like if you're a kid you can go in and then you can poke your head up <clears throat> in a little dome that's what that reminds me of what is all this then what's all this then a bit strange in it oh so this is like a like a like a music studio has fallen into the back rooms has it fallen into the back rooms or is it just a copy of what's already on Earth? Ugh, I don't know why that creeps me out so what is that? Was that another poster of the sun? Is he gonna have to climb this thing? Oh it was. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead man, okay. you can do it. It's like you're in little nightmares or something. Oh, you can hear the static. This. Come on, come on. Radio check, radio check. Oh, it's, he was checking the radio. I thought he was climbing radio up. Check, radio check. Do you cop? Testing. One, two, three. Hello, hello. <laughs> That's me before I record. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Hello, hello. Oh. Does anybody copy? I don't know what it is. I don't know how he does it, but he creates tension in the strangest ways. It's a mixture of like the claustrophobic visuals mixed with this weird soundscape. And a scream in the background. Wait. How do you not know if you're communicating with something inside this back rooms thing? Like you're communicating with that entity. And now it's just quiet. There's no soundscape. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's like, you don't know how quiet something is. Like, you don't realize there's been something in the background until it's turned off, and then you're just left with stillness. And it's very unsettling sometimes. Oh, a drum kit. And a random ass sink, that's good. If that is just mimicking what it's heard. What, 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 what? Ah! Oh my god, that genuinely took me off. Holy shit! I was not expecting to see actually see something. Oh my god, that's disgusting. 
you reckon that's like another survivor who's just turned mad? Maybe the mold slowly turns you insane. My god. That made me jump. Okay, are we, is this the mold that we're seeing here? There's like... Mate, if Kane could, I would love for him to make a video game. Like a horror video game. I feel like he would... What the fuck? Where are we? Yeah, I feel like he would knock it out the park, man. It'd be like what PT was meant to be. I mean, he's still young. There's still a lot of time. He's a fantastic... Um, uh, VFX artist. If he got behind it like a team of people, holy shit. He could really do something amazing. Okay, so this is some kind of like... What is this? Like industrial... What does that sign there say? Return to... What? Return to... I don't know what that says. I just, like, I, I love this so much. Like, it's such a nice experience. This looks weird. Hang on a second. It looks like some kind of board meeting table. Oh, hang on a sec. Is that what I think it is? There's no way. This was the street, right? Or is it not? It is. It's the street. Is it the street? No, that was... It looks like it's been added onto. But in one of the last found footage, or I forgot what one it was, when... I think it was pitfalls when they fall down. <laughs> and there's like a road, yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to think that the guy that he w got saw before was down there for a long time, and because physics and reality doesn't work the same in the back rooms, he didn't die, or they don't die, they just slowly go insane and lose their minds. But yeah, the, like in Pitfalls, I think it was, you see a team of back rooms employees going down there and down that street and into a house, and that's where they saw like this person screaming for help but it wasn't a person it was like another uh what do you call it like a mold monster or something stick monster this is insane man this is so so insane Oh, and the way the buzzing returns as well. That would send you insane. I bet he looks zesty as hell coming down that. You know when you like walk uphill and then you walk downhill? You can't help but look zesty when you walk downhill. 
he's not even saying anything at this point it's like he's just almost ex not accepting but just like has nothing else to say oh what was that nice little double take there Oh, this is where he freaking came from. That's a little... He could have skipped all this if he just jumped from the banister. Oh, there's some... What is that? He doesn't even care anymore. Oh, it's like a cardboard cutout. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. There's one hell of a thumbnail shot, though. I'm not. I wouldn't use that as a thumbnail shot. <laughs> it would confuse a lot of people, though. Cavemen in the back rooms. I'm not gonna lie, I would knock that cardboard cutout down, face down, so that I didn't feel like it was following me with its eyes. completely different now. Beat it, toots. Kind of hat. Okay, this looks like it's beginning to be more of like um async facility. What's going on with async at this point? And here's an interesting thing. Oh, here we go. When uh, the movie comes out, is it going to be a found footage movie? It must be, right? It, hopefully it is. It's what people love. I do love me a found footage film. There's clothes. And there's like a trail going towards that, like, hole in the wall there. Ugh. What happened here then? What is that? Is this sand? Oh, it, that kind of like fused in, like maybe it clipped in and like... What is going on? There's like mold going on to, into these holes. Ugh. This is like a set almost. Oh, this is unsettling. I wouldn't have trusted that, like, that trail mat going into that hole. I'd immediately think there's someone there. But look, you see how there's like black splodges on the floor? Whatever's living here, that's, they look like footprints. It's definitely infected with this mold. And there's someone here for sure. Someone listening to the TV. What is that thing on the floor? What? What is that? Is that what's making the sound? Is it a boot? Is 
There's like a whistling sound. Something upstairs. Okay, that's not even the TV. That's that, hang on. That's not even the TV. That's someone talking. Oh, this is so creepy. Hello? Someone out there? I'm sorry. I don't know where I am. I need help. You're on private property, you need to leave. What? I, I, I'm trying, okay? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be here. the guy who keeps coming around here trying to talk to my boys. What? No, my name is Robbie, sir. I'm not trying to cause you any trouble, I'm just lost. My family's trying to sleep. Leave or I'm calling the police. And where is he really? talking from? Is he talking from upstairs? I need help. The station's a quarter mile down the road. Listen, I can't. I've been walking for like nine fucking hours, man. Where the hell are we? I can't even see you. Wait, I what? Actually, do call the cops. That's fine. Just please help me out here. Hello? Yeah, where is he talking from? Whoa. Oops. Whoa. What? Where the hell are we? I just look outside and I don't see you. I'm not. What? This is so crazy. I'm in like a living room with a fish on the wall. What? What? Is this some kind of game you're doing? Are you having a laugh over this? I'm Are you having a laugh? Not. Never heard an American say having a laugh like that. I'm not. It's just, it sounds like you're on the other side of this wall, but this door goes nowhere. He, he sounds like he's upstairs. Wait, so hang on. It, wait, um, what? Uh, is there like a like a like a blend of reality and back rooms here? Is that him opening this door are you, here? Are you in my walls? What? I don't know where I am. I've been trapped in this goddamn hell building for hours, and you're the first actual person I found. So can you please just, I don't know, get a hole in the. I don't understand. How is, how is this possible? I, I don't know. I can hear you, but. I don't know, man. I so don't know. Th there's some kind of like. I just need to go home. There's definitely some kind of wall here, some kind of like, uh, what do you call it? There's like some kind of veil going on here. Oh, that's Why thin. I just told you there's no fucking exit or anything. This place keeps going on forever. Can you just show me where the exit is and I'll be out of here? Okay, alright. Alright, listen. I'm... We're having some of the wings cover here redone. I can open up the wall here. It's still loose. But... I need you to move slowly, all right? What? Thank you. Come out with your hands first. I want to see your face. And we'll take things from there. Thank you. Is that where he's talking from? I think it's... What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Oh my god. Oh my god! What the fuck? He just got a man killed. Hello? Hey, what happened? 
What happened? Did he clip? He clipped into the back rooms. What? It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh. Oh. I feel like... So here's what I think... Uh, I'll wait till afterwards. I'll wait till afterwards. <laughs> I was thinking I'm... It's like grave encounters. I mean, I to talk to him about my... Uh, my um, job. Your job? Battery's about to die. Summer, the sky was. I don't remember the sky. It was hot out. Gary and Linda were there. You were there. I think. I think. I think you've just got that large bike that got stolen. One of your friends were there. You can see your face is so clear. I just want to go home. Right. I just want to go home. Yeah, I can imagine. Imagine that feeling of despair. Was this found by anyone? Obviously, it says found footage. Oh, and then the, the battery died. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, that was mad. That was very, very, very good, though. What I think happened there at the end with that guy is that his house probably was a connecting point to the back rooms. And <clears throat> where, uh, maybe the, the, the veil was thin there. Um, and so what we were seeing was potentially that guy's house, kind of, but flipped or like in the a back rooms version of that. And there was a veil there but on that wall. But when he tried to kind of remove the wall or whatever, he clipped in, but he didn't clip into the point where he fell through with this the guy behind the camera here, he fell through to a completely different area. Either that, or he opened it up to some kind of, because he, he went, oh, no! So obviously he saw something before something happened. Meaning he could have taken it off and then something came out and killed him. Or he took something out and realized, oh, whoa, what the hell is this? And then like just fell in. So he just, he got a man killed, but potentially without realizing and the whole like that person chasing that is how you do horror right there just this you're not seeing what it is you're up against to begin with but knowing that something's getting closer to you as time goes on and that's what was happening it started with like the knocking of the door and then it was banging down the door then it was slowly like coming into the areas that this guy was in robbie i think his name was until eventually you literally saw this thing running crazily at him which is one of my top 10 fears, probably. Just someone running at you. I don't know how to explain it. Like, you're just there normally, then you look, and then, like, there's just something with vicious intent, like a horrific monster just running at you. 
Uh, that scares the hell out of me. But that was really well done. And obviously this was the third one. The second one was like the woman, I think it was a woman who was in her basement. They, they all seem to be in the basement, in honesty, except the first one wasn't in the basement. The first one was just uh, out and about shooting. And then in the second one, you see like she goes into a room that turns green that's full of mold or something like that. And then this third one, he's in a red room. Um, it's very interesting. Oh, here's a, here's a good point, look. This is by The Cynical But Optimistic. We're not talking enough about the beginning. The broken glass door at 248, the busted down wall in the garage at 538, right where Robbie fell out of our dimension. Something broke down the wall, then made it upstairs and outside. It's not just people clipping into the back rooms, those mole creatures are clipping out. These things that are being kept in there, who I am assuming... Okay, I have no idea what happened here. My camera has never done this technical glitch before. And it kind of freaked me out, I'm not going to lie. I thought it might have been my editing software, but it plays like this every single time I do it. So something happened to my camera whilst I was doing this. I have no idea. I just thought I'd point that out to you guys. Our people, right, who were just left in there to rot over time, maybe, and maybe the, the mold is some kind of result of being stuck in the back rooms for a prolonged amount of time. I think time works differently in the back rooms. I don't think you can really die in the back rooms. I'm not sure. It just seems that people who get trapped there turn to mold. And I think that's what's happening. They found, they, they, they've gone crazy trying to find an exit. And maybe these mold creatures that we're seeing are just people wanting to get out. But then again, that makes no sense because they killed the first one. So maybe they just turned completely insane and they accidentally stumbled across a way to get into the world. So they're clipping into the world and that means that these things are out there in the world ready to kill. My God, what a horrific thought. And I'm wondering what's going on with Async at this point. They're going to have to have like a whole new branch of people to deal with these mold creatures. It's going to be interesting to see where this one goes. Because like I said, uh, Kane, he's working on a movie with A24, and obviously the stories can't be the same. They've got to be switched now. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the movie, which I haven't really heard a lot about. Let's have a look. It, it, there's no, like, there's no news on the new Backrooms movie. It's quite tight-lipped at the moment. But I'm very interested to see where that one goes and how that one's told. If it's going to be anything similar to this story or if it's going to be a completely different story, repurposed or rebranded. I'm looking forward to it because they did say, like Kane did say, I could, uh, uh, he was going to upload this like a few days ago, like I said, but he, he, there was legal things there and he had to like clear things up before he could, you know, obviously before making this thing entirely, he had to have the go ahead with a legal team or the, you know, film legal team to make sure that it's not breaching anything that they're doing. But it must be different then. It must be different for sure. I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and I'm hoping we get a little bit more news on the actual film soon. Because it started, I think it was 2023 February, Kane announced that there was going to be a movie being made. And he said that it was going to be filmed over the summer in 2023. Or maybe it was the summer of 2024. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be super interesting. Guys, please go and subscribe to Kane Pixels. An absolute prodigy when it comes to filmmaking. And just a, a huge inspiration for what how like something should be shot. Should be like just everything's perfect when it comes to this. Like the sound design, the visuals, you know, the tension, the build up. The pacing, everything's perfect. But yeah, go subscribe to Kane Pixels, guys. The link will be in the description down below. If you enjoyed my reaction, consider liking, consider subscribing, as this is the majority of my content reacting to analog horrors and the spooky game here and there. There we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.